Did you know that dragon's blood is an excellent remedy for gastrointestinal issues, skin, cancers, and diabetes? Some of you may be thinking, wait, what? Real dragon's blood? Rest assured, we're not asking you to gather some mythical creature's blood. Dragon's blood is a dark red plant resin named after its hue. Extracted from the Croton leclery tree, it also goes by the name Sangre de Grotto in Spanish. Where can we find dragon's blood? What medicinal benefits does it have? And how exactly can we use it? In today's video, we'll answer all these questions and more. Let's start with where you can find it. The Amazon rainforest is home to some of the Earth's most unique and fascinating plants, and Sangre de Grotto is one of the many wonders found in the dense foliage of this forest. Derived from croton species of plants, Sangre de Grotto is a medicinal remedy widespread throughout the Amazon. The highest quality comes from the upper jungles of Peru and Ecuador. And guess what? It's one of the fastest growing, where on average, Sangre de Grotto can reach up to 45 feet in merely three years. Another exciting fact about this resin is that it can be harvested similarly to rubber. A colloidal mix of tree sap oozes out of small incisions made in the tree bark, which is then collected in vessels and stored. However, as technology progresses, new techniques are invented, so experimental farming methods now focus on growing and felling the trees in a two to three year cycle. Keeping in mind that it comes out drop by drop, each tree collects a massive production of approximately 1.5 liters of sap. Now, is it dragon's blood, Sangre de Grotto, or Sangre de Drago? There's a common misconception about the resin's name. Is it Sangre de Grotto or Sangre de Drago? Since it's widely referred to as dragon's blood, the name, including the word Drago, seems more likely to be the correct term. But it isn't. The correct term is Sangre de Grotto. People often confuse the two due to negligence and limited knowledge of the medicinal species. Another conflict with the terminology is that some literature and traditional schools of medicine, primarily based in ancient Europe, Asia, and Africa, might refer to other tree sap as dragon's blood. What's the difference between the two? The answer boils down to the species of the tree. The specific species we're discussing comes from the Croton leclery trees of the Amazon, in contrast to the other resins extracted from Dracenia cinnabari trees. Okay, but what's it used for? Utilized in spiritual beliefs and practices, natural dyes, paints, varnishes, and incense, this resin's role in medicine has hardly changed over time. Because Sangre de Grotto has been traditional medicine for centuries, increasing evidence-based studies has shown its popularity as an effective medicinal remedy growing daily as more individuals opt to switch to natural products instead of synthetic alternatives. So what makes it so likable? Clinical studies reflect strong evidence of its healing, antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory properties. Besides, its minimal side effects also paint a tempting picture for consumers. The cumulative results of in vitro and in vivo studies support the use of Sangre de Grotto in treating diarrhea, wounds, tumors, stomach ulcers, herpes infection, itching, pain, swelling of insect bites, and other conditions. How about we dive deeper into some specific medicinal benefits? First up, it's excellent for gastrointestinal issues. Be it gastric ulcers or diarrhea, this herbal medicine is excellent for treating gastrointestinal issues. Even intestinal infections and gastritis, which is the inflammation of the stomach lining, come under this herb's medicinal reach. Studies have shown that when administered in drinking water, Sangre de Grotto helps regenerate cells and reduces inflammation and bacterial colonization in those affected by gastric ulcers. Research conducted on animals has also supported these observations from time to time. Gastric ulcers are common in South America, mainly because of the infection caused by a bacteria that targets the stomach and can easily cause pain. Amazonian communities are at risk of high exposure to diverse parasites and pathogens, making them prone to medical complications. This explains their dependability on ethnomedicine for two reasons. First, these are readily available to them through natural resources, and second, they're cost-effective. So plants like Sangre de Grotto are lifesavers that can initiate the healing process and prove to be great alternatives to synthetic products. And its usage is not only limited to the Amazon, it's also considered an age-old Chinese medicine used to fight gastrointestinal infections. 
Chinese scholars have also claimed the herb's effectiveness in treating gastric disorders by attacking bacteria that caused this menace in the first place. But the question remains, what makes it so effective? Crophelomer, a vital chemical derived from Sangro de Grotto, is a well-known anti-diarrhea agent. It is a trusted medicine for treating diarrhea in HIV-infected individuals. It's excellent in reducing its frequency, easing symptoms, and improving stool consistency. Adding two crophelomer's benefits, researchers also say that adding crophelomer to the skin helps with genital and anal herpes in people affected by AIDS. Other gut issues Sangro de Grotto helps with are irritable bowel syndrome, traveler's diarrhea, and cholera. And what about your skin? Will it be of any help? Sangro de Grotto is widely used in anti-aging creams. If you're looking for a skin regime that maintains your youth's charm with growing age, Sangro de Grotto might be a perfect pick for you. Its antioxidant properties leave your skin soft and supple. Studies have shown the extracts of dragon's blood hydrate the skin, increase the dermis thickness, and raise the skin's elasticity. It's also helpful in dealing with stretch marks due to pregnancy or weight gain. And guess what? It's also beneficial for cuts, scratches, and blisters. Due to its antimicrobial properties, it acts as a long-term barrier to lesions and prevents infections. It also speeds up the healing rate of wounds and prevents scarring. A study targeting 60 people between 14 to 65 years of age showed the positive effects of dragon's blood on wound healing. This speedy recovery success was due to the alkaloid taspine, lignans, and fiolanic compounds in Sangro de Grotto. Dragon's blood stimulates the contraction of the wound, forms crust, facilitates the formation of new collagen, and finally regenerates the topmost layer of the skin, leaving your skin healed and scar-free. And what about stings and bites? Yes, dragon's blood is an excellent remedy for stings too. It diminishes the pain and reduces itching within minutes of application. Guess what? It has anti-cancer properties too. Do you know why cancer occurs? High concentrations of free radicals cause cancers. These are highly reactive chemicals that cause harm by damaging the cell's DNA, proteins, and cell membranes. Antioxidants are chemicals that can neutralize these free radicals and prevent damage of any kind. But what does dragon's blood have to do with this? Well, its antioxidant activity fights this oxidative damage, meaning it has anti-cancer effects. Evidence suggests that dragon's blood treats cancer or tumor cells in their initial stages. This is mainly because of a compound called taspine, which inhibits cell multiplication in cancer cells. Studies also show strong evidence of its high potency against melanoma, the most severe type of skin cancer that can also form in your eyes or rarely in the nose or throat. And it exhibits anti-diabetic properties. Sangre de Grotto has been a trusted traditional medicine for managing diabetes symptoms in urban regions and in Central America. They still currently use it for its anti-diabetic virtues. Type 2 diabetes is a familiar chronic illness with various symptoms, especially cardiovascular issues. It's a growing health concern in both developed and developing nations. In 2011, approximately 360 million people were affected by diabetes globally. The prevalence of this disease in 2000 was roughly around 3% of the population, but those numbers have been increasing. By 2030, 4.5% of the global population is expected to be diabetic. Those are some big numbers. Well, this makes it all the more imperative to find suitable alternatives that can help you prevent contributing to those numbers, and dragon's blood is one of them. You may think there are enough medications to help manage diabetes already. Why are we looking for more? The answer is simple. The more the merrier. And it's always good to have many options. Sangro de Grotto is a cost-effective herbal medicine with low side effects, making it a great go-to for those struggling to afford medication. Although some traditional viewpoints reflect Sangro de Grotto as an effective agent for dealing with diabetes, there are limited sources that establish a direct link between the two. However, its antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant properties cannot be overlooked when you wish to counteract health issues like hypertension, cardiovascular stress, and cancers. Are there any risks involved? Due to the absence of reliable information and research on using dragon's blood in pregnant or breastfeeding women, it's best to avoid it unless approved by a medical practitioner. Also, those with leukemia, a type of blood cancer, should stay away from its usage as it's believed to possibly worsen your condition. Dragon's blood can be considered a solution to most of your health concerns, and its applications are not limited to what we talked about. 
These include common colds, bleeding gums, diarrhea caused by cancer drug treatment, hemorrhoids, menstrual cramps, fractures, and upper airway infections. Looking to learn more about herbs and their medicinal uses? Watch 12 Anti-Aging Herbs That Help Protect the Brain and Memory Loss or Top 17 Herbs to Clean Arteries and Prevent Heart Attacks. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both. What's the thing about dragon's blood that intrigued you the most? Let us know in the comments below.